This is the Z-Man Chatterbait Mini Max. A few people have asked me to fish this lure in my waters because it is a great lure for shallow waters, especially if you're fishing ponds. And there's also a lot of people asking me if this lure is good for BFS fishing. Well, let's start off this video on a table as we assess this chatterbait, and then we'll go on the water and do some fishing. Let's get this video started. All right, so here is the Chatterbait Mini Max in the package. As you see, it comes in three sizes, quarter ounce, three eighths ounce, and half ounce. I've gotten this from Discount Tackle. Discount Tackle sells Z-Man stuff pretty much cheap all year long, so you definitely want to check it out. Left some affiliate links in the description below. But anyway, I am opting for the quarter ounce because I fish a lot of shallow waters. When I do pond hopping, quarter ounce is pretty much uh, good enough. Uh, sometimes I may do 3 eighths, especially if I sell bulky allures with the, you know, to trailer, right? Because it helps keep it in a higher water column. But when you finesse fishing, when you use smaller, smaller trailers, you definitely want to use a lighter one, such as this one right here, the quarter ounce. So here it is. This is how it looks like. Let's assess this bad boy. The blade here is a little bit smaller than the uh, chatterbait itself, like the, the regular size chatterbaits. In fact, I have a Elite Evil right here. This is the 3 8 ounce version and I'll put it right here without opening the package. As you see, there is some size difference. Okay. Uh, so yeah, when you have a smaller child bait like this, it's going to not vibrate as crazy as the bigger one. I don't know if this thing is going to roll that hard or um, that much at all. Uh, but this is a lighter uh, profile itself. So likely it may still roll pretty good. So we need to see in the water. The skirt material looks really, really nice silicone and you could see that it's being tied down by wires which is nice i have the chatterbait micro here one eighth ounce i believe okay uh and this guy right here old school okay had a rubber band but it melted off and the skirt is gone as well but you can see the difference between the micro and the mini max Okay, the hook size is about the same as in the gap, but you see that it's a lot thicker. So for this guy here, I know someone have asked me, can I use this for bait finesse fishing? I don't think so. I think uh, even with a medium light rod, like you would have to use pretty good thick line. Like you would have to power finesse fish this guy. And we need to weigh this too. Let's see the total weight of it. Although this is quarter ounce, likely it's gonna be heavier because of the skirt material and also the blade itself. But it will be really, really cool to see Z-Man come up with a new uh, chatterbait micro with better skirt, wire ties, right? But having a hook this thin, I would definitely use this on bait finesse. Let me show you guys one more time, okay? You can see that this guy here uh, is definitely a lot thicker than the micro. And we have on the grams. I am guessing this is going to be um, 8 grams, maybe. Ooh, dang, that's a lot more. <laughs> so um, seven grams would be a quarter ounce. So let's move this over to, there we go. So this is pretty heavy, okay? Uh, and if we add a trailer, and I am gonna be using this guy right here, the Chatter Shad. This is available in two sizes, 3.5 and a 4.5. But for the uh, Mini Max, this guy will be perfect. So let's throw this guy on here like that. And it is almost a half ounce. So yeah, it's definitely heavy. Definitely won't be using for like normal bait finesse fishing. Uh, so uh, yeah, even power finesse fishing. But let me take this guy out and put it right here just like that. And I'm gonna go back to grams for a second because I'm curious what is the weight. So it's a little bit more than an eighth ounce. Uh, 3.5 is an eighth. Next thing is let's take a look at the bait keeper. Okay, so I think this should be able to hold a little bit. I wish these are popping out a little bit more, like the eye strike fishing hooks. Uh, those uh, bait keeper does a little bit better job uh, holding the Z-Man Elastec. So let's rig this one up and see if it slides uh, easy or not. Maybe you need some super glue, who knows? So anyway, we are, measure that right there. Okie dokies. about here okay and pull up hard okay once you get up there you pull back a little bit let me see just do a pull test not bad it's not bad i think i would still super glue it so it stays stays on but i don't think you really need it All right now that i got this whole thing rigged up let's get out on the water and do some fishing since this thing is pretty heavy and also the hook is pretty thick we are not going to be bfs fishing we got so on my new setup let me show you the new setup and let's go slay them 
Here is the setup that I'll be using today. I'm using my new rod. This is from Arc. This is the West Logan series, the R Chatter. And here is the spec of the rod. As you see, it goes down to quarter ounce and up to one ounce. So this setup right here, half ounce is perfect. For the reel, I'm using the new SLX 70. It sports a MGL spool, so it can throw very light lures, but I'm using it as my chatterbait reel for this season. So I upped the line here. I have 30 pound J braid. So it's gonna be really, really nice and smooth casting. And then I have 12 pound mono leader. Let's get out there and slay some fish. Man, take a look at this. I don't know if this is the fall turnover or it's turnover plus HAB. It's really bad. For those who don't know what HAB is, it's the harmful algae bacteria. And I have a feeling it's a mixture of both. Okay, we have all these geese here, as you see. Uh, poop is everywhere. And <laughs> I know some people like biting, oops. I know some people like biting their fishing line, but uh, <laughs> if fishing these waters, you definitely would not be biting your fishing line. Ooh, this is bad. All right, we got some wind on that side. I have a feeling we got some fish probably on that side, okay? But we'll walk the banks and we'll be fishing. We'll be fishing the Chatterbait Mini Max. This is the quarter ounce version and I got the Chatter Shad. And this is the 3.5 inch version. We're gonna be putting some vibes in this water, okay? We gotta put some vibes to get some of these fish to bite because as you see, it's pretty mucky, pretty bad. Okay, it's very bad. So, uh, will fish bite in this condition? Like, if it's the turnover, they're probably a little bit uh, having a headache. I mean, I would have a headache. Imagine um, springtime, right, with all that pollen and stuff like that, right? Oh, that's fish right there. Oh yeah, baby. But yeah, like in the springtime, we humans don't like the pollen, right? Think about this. They're having a turnover here, and the water is very nasty. They breed. They're basically breeding that thing through the gills, right? So. Will they not be happy? I bet they're not happy. Anyways, here we go. We got a little bass, not bad size. Take a look at that, okay? With that Chatterbait Mini Max. This is gonna be great for these pond hopping adventures that I have, okay? Because we have a lot of shallow water and having a smaller Chatterbait and a smaller profile right here will catch a lot of those small fish. And also it won't hit the bottom as easy as, you know, the bigger, heavier ones, like the 3 8 ounce. This thing vibrates really well. The blade is small, the Smaller than the typical chatterbait, okay? But it does do really well. And I really like this rod. I get to rip over these nasty gunk. Oh, that was a bass, that was a bass. You guys saw that? He's here. Let's see if he bites again. Here we go. Got him, got him, got him, got him, got him. Oh yeah. Missed you the first time, but second time around, Got you good. Hey, look at that. All right, off you go, dude. Y'all need to back out. Back out. Back. Go. Go. Oh, there's another bird right there. There's a big, that's a heron. This is my spot for fishing, dude. Stuff in my face. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Look at this. Look at that. Now that's what I call a bass. Oh yeah. Whew. He wasn't even hooked all the way. Anyway, off you go. Yeah. Yeah, these fish are in the gunk, man. Get it down, slow roll it, get near the edges. This is why I chose the graphite rod over the composite because I know if I'm getting good fish, I, I need to be able to set that hook. But as you saw, with a little bit softer tip, I still didn't really set it that good. And that's probably because he was in the weeds, like deep in the weeds. I need to do like a more powerful hook set. I, I'm sure this rod could do it. But you know, Jimbo, body pains after the boating accident, it's tough. So I may have to go back to like the fast tip because I do like the fast tips, man. Yee, this is the nasty part, but this is probably where the fish gonna be at. We got some wind blowing through this covey area. Oh, that was a fish. That was definitely a fish. I don't know if you guys saw my rod go, but by the time I set the hook, he was gone. Yeah. 
There we go. Yeah, they're in there. They are in there. Woo, another spotty. Let me get a nice photo of this. All right, off you go. Back in the muck you go. Oh, 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 oh. No, don't splash that thing at me. Just, just, you got it, you got it. Cool, you good. Here we go. That's the other one I missed earlier. This time I gave him the hook. And he's a good size one. Hey, this guy got a little bit of spots too. Look at that. All right. This is what's up, man. This is what's up. This one's hard to get through. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna have to take my keys out and poke it down. Definitely got hooked before. Looks familiar. Probably from one of my other previous trips. You know, fall time, everybody changes uh, their hobbies and also their routines and stuff, right? Obviously, we got the younger folks there in school. Well, even with the family folks, right? Your kids are in school. So things change, right? Oh, got a fish. Oh. And then also, we have hunting season. Hunting season's here. And this is a good size fish right here too. Let me show y'all. Come on, let me get down a little bit. But yeah, they're, they're stacked in this windblown area. That's a little bit less, but we have a lot of gunk and it makes it, it easy for me to cast this direction compared to uh, the other way when I was on that side. So I'm getting like fish after fish, man. All right, so here we go. Another one. Man, this is going so well. I think I need to take the other rod out and hit another pond that's a little less weedy and play around with the composite rod. It'll be so much fun throwing this guy. Yeah, I think the fish are close to structure and the best way to fish is really near the banks right now. When it comes to pond, structure can mean the drop off, right? The gradual drop off the branch that's near the trees, like over there. And of course, these muck. And the top water stuff too. You see the dust from um, people mowing the lawns, right? And also the leaves on top. That is good structure, okay? When you have no structure, hit the windblown area, look for these gunk. And there's potentially good fish hiding, as I've shown this bank right here, caught several already. Oh, he is fishing. That guy caught a fish. Good job. Good job, dude. Nope, y'all didn't see that. <laughs> Got him. He was right there, man. He's right there. Look at this guy. Another good size one. Another good size. Dude, this is a pretty good lake. Now, after school is out, those kids will probably hear fishing, especially after watching some of my videos. <laughs> so I better enjoy the early fall bite. Whew. Not bad, not bad for a pond. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> you see, I walked over the bush for a reason because I wanted to get this chatterbait close as possible to the gunk. And here we are, another bass. Another one, baby. Uh, let me, there we go. Another one. All right, off you go. Fall fishing at its finest. Big fish right there. Here we go. Yeah, I stirred up some bait fish. I was like, yeah, fish is gonna be right there. And here we are. Nice one. Nice one. Oh, yeah. Off it goes. Man, that Chatterbait Mini Max with that Chatter Shad is freaking fantastic. Quarter ounce plus that 3.5 inch. It stays in the water column pretty high. Doesn't hit the bottom and get snagged. And you get to avoid a lot of the weeds too. So I'm loving it. You'll definitely see me using this in my pond fishing adventures and also potentially still in the lakes, bigger lakes. It takes a little bit longer for uh, the fall to 
to really kick in, right? Uh, as you see, the water is pretty disgusting. And having this chowder bait and create a lot of vibes and flash, it got those fish uh, honed into it. And I nailed a good amount, good amount. And I basically just fished maybe like 30 minutes. Like uh, sometimes I go fishing uh, right after I drop off my kid to school. And sometimes I fish a little bit before I pick them up. And whew, it's fantastic. But yeah, I would definitely fish this in some of my shallow lakes in Jersey because we we're fishing mainly three feet uh, deepest. And uh, if they're in a the back lake, it's gonna be a lot more shallow. So with all the weeds that's still up in the lakes, you definitely uh, wanna focus near these vegetation and throwing this guy will get you bit, all right? Those fish were slapping it. Anyway, if you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment below. I left links in the description, affiliate links, of course, are where you get these products. Thank you for watching the Fish Don't Wait. Falls here, go slay him.